I was contacted by one of the inmates inside the prison who's part of this group called the Lifers Group. And I told him I had a message that I want to give to the youth out there and do he think he could help me and assist me and come in and work with me. We decided to do a talent search inside the prison, see if there was enough talent to do a, a rec. I used to have a name, but now I got a number. I used to put something six feet under. Now I'm in jail, no longer a rebel. Can't tell me damn thing about the ghetto. I've been there. Is uh, Hollywood exploiting you guys? Hollywood is not exploiting. First of all, Hollywood, Hollywood basic did not come to me. I approached them. The artist royalties on the Lifers Group record go to the Lifers Group organization. Which in return will help us promote a lot of our other programs that we're trying to get off the ground. The project was the brainstorm of Maxwell Melvin, the vice president of the Lifers Group, an inmate organization whose members are all serving life sentences for murder or robbery but to have dedicated themselves to trying to turn kids off to a life of crime. I want them to realize that if they choose a life of crime, um, you know, that this is where they end up in, you know, the belly of the beast. From jailhouse rock to jailhouse rap, it's powerful stuff. The belly of the beast, the first rap song and video recorded and shot in prison, East Jersey State. Maxwell Melvin organized the whole thing. He's got a message for the kids. A lot of them will say, well, this is the problem out here. I have no other choice, you know? And I'm telling you, you do have a choice, so don't tell me a damn thing about what's happening out there right now, because I'm telling you, what you're doing out there right now is going to lead you here.